how does ad insertion works in live stream so we have seen matches cricket matches on hotstar even before that we were watching live cricket matches football matches we used to see ads between the ongoing match so how does this insertion of ads takes place we'll take the example of hotstar this is a live stream coming so it has chunks of videos which are coming and in these chunks of videos there are some special markers these special markers are the play out markers what does this play out marker means these marker means that here the ad has to be inserted now who inserts these markers these markers are actually inserted manually there are actually editors sitting while the match is going on who decide that now take a break who decide at this point the break has to be taken and insert the markers in the live stream which is being produced now what are these markers called these markers are called uh, generated through SCTE protocol which is also called SCTI and these markers are called SCTI markers so uh, wherever this stream is going for example it is first generating from the camera on the stadium these people who are sitting uh, in the stadium they insert these SCTI markers in this live stream and then these live streams go to whatever channel you are watching or maybe or hotstar which then produces this stream to you and also then inserts ads and in these play out areas or the markers where it founds okay so in these marker points, we have to just insert the ad. So what is the issue in that? Where does the system design come in this? this? So now we, we will discuss about type of ad insertion. So one can be static ad insertion. So every time we have decided to everyone will show the same kind of ad. This is what used to happen when we used to watch TV. There are some set of ads which were decided already. So whenever the stream comes between these play out markers, just insert the ads and then show it to the users. This was this is not very complex. No processing has to be done. Just an ad has to be inserted. Two streams generate an ad stream and take this live stream, merge this stream, and then just give it to the user. No big thing which we are doing here. So this is quite an easy way. These days personalization is very much important. Everyone wants to display the ads only the things in which the person is interested in. So if there is no personalization, there will be less monetization. Less people will click, and that's the whole point of all the sport games to own money. So we are defeating that purpose so how do we now give personalized ads so if we start giving the personalized ads there will be scale issues now if there are scale issues how do we tackle that so how big of scale we are talking about so on hotstar hotstar has even seen 25 million concurrent users during a live match live cricket match which is going so how do you insert ads personalized ads for 25 million users which are actually on hotstar so for this uh, there can be something like server side ad insertion. So in this dynamic ad insertion in which we show personalized ads, there will be a lot of load on the ad server. So we will need to create an ad server which will do the personalization and according to that personalization it will generate the ad and then provide it to the user. So this will definitely cause a delay in the live stream. That means that uh, it will require a lot of buffering in the live stream which will create a very bad user experience so we cannot generate personalized ads for 25 million concurrent users in this case so what do we do now one another way could be to do client side ad insertion so this was server side ad insertion where the live stream is coming the server is then generating a personalized ad and then adding it to the live stream and then sending you the stream to the client now the big issue is that the server has to do a lot of work what if we do this joining work on the client side itself so what it will do is that the client will prefetch the ads according to his personalized recommendations and then join these streams on the device itself on your phone on your laptop but this also has issues when the person has to download these things when the client has to download these things while the live match is going on this will reduce the bandwidth so what it will do is actually reduce the quality of the live stream actual match which is going on because the background task which is prefetching the ads that will take up a lot of bandwidth so we cannot do this also now what do we come to we come to something called targeted server side ad insertion so what do we do in targeted server side and how it is different than personalized so the major issue in server side ad insertion for 25 million concurrent users was that the scale is very large now to prevent that what we can do is we can divide these users into some particular cohorts or groups whatever you call them and we basically 
show them same kind of ads for example you identify some x group of people these group of people will always see same kind of ads so in this case what will you do we, you get the original stream you create different types of virtual streams one two three whatever according to the number of groups that you have now in each group there can be multiple number of users so for each user you display them the ads which is common to these users now let's see how if you have to build this kind of system what you will do so let's take this example of uh, how the hotstar uh, architecture looks like for live streaming so what happens is that uh, there is a ground action studio feed so this studio feed it is coming now it goes to the broadcast production which is there and it enters the hotstar entry point now this stream is also going to the director or the editor which actually inserts the scutty markers into this live video so what they will do they will insert these scutty markers and send it to the playout there is there is a device called a playout device so uh, what this will happen is the hotstar is getting the live stream it is also getting the markers from this playout device so this 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 data is then fed into the digital encoder this digital encoder belongs to hotstar now what this digital digital encoder will do it will take the live stream it will take the markers and pass this stream to the cdn now in the cdn there will be some dynamic ad insertion how this dynamic ad insertion will work with cdn we'll see how it happens and then finally it is served to the clients now let's see the architecture into this part of hotstar which we talked about this digital encoder what is happening here so what is happening here is that you get the actual stream so in this there are segments which are divided by those cutty markers and then there is a media exchange or the ads which are coming from the people who have to advertise now what uh, happens is that there is a ad server different types of virtual streams or it will give the different types of ads which are possible in that particular time now this stitching service what it will do it will take the stream take the scutty markers which are there in the stream insert the ads from which are generated from the ad servers and pass all the streams which are there to the cdn now client when it will make a call to the cdn it will pass to which cohort this client belongs now how the client will get this information the client is always sending this data to uh, hotstar pulse which is a system of there and this is always connected to the ad server so this ad server is determining which client belongs to which cohort so the client will send to the cdn that i belong to this cohort and the cdn will then send the virtual stream of that particular cohort to the client now how this stitching service is working we are interested in that like how it is actually adding the ads between uh, what is coming for example the live stream which is coming how the ad is being inserted here now let's see the stitching server so the stitching server like what it does uh, like we talked about it takes the ads it takes the stream stitches them gives the virtual streams and then cdn gives to the client according to the cohort which they belong to now how does the stitching service looks like it is very complex now so the stitching service has to work very fast because there cannot be delay in inserting the ad so for example when uh, you get the live stream and if you are delayed in giving the ad at that particular time the live stream for the users will be delayed and it will create a very bad experience so this has to be very very fast has to able has to be able to support a lot of load so how will this do that so in this what hotstar decided is that they decided that we'll go with no database they just have a redis cache and there are two local caches now in this streaming service there are two major parts one is an ad manager which is always connected to the ad server getting the required ads which are being provided by the media servers and then there is the manifest polar so what it will check it will it is keep it is getting the live stream it will keep checking for scutty markers and it is also getting the ad manager ads from the ad manager now it will stitch together it will create various virtual streams from the ads which are there and from these manifest markers which are there and it will stitch them to provide to the cdn and then when the user calls the cdn on the base of their cohort they will get that particular virtual stream now how to make it even more scalable to make it even more scalable like we will add another layer of server and another layer of cache so in cdn first we'll do caching on the cdn level so for example if the user belonging to same cohort again asks for this 
same live stream makes a call it doesn't has to again go back to the stitching service and get the data so the first level of users are dropped at this level itself they get the video stream from the cdn itself now suppose it is not available in this cache then the call goes to the nginx server they have used an nginx server which also has a cache a local cache so what it will do is that whatever it does not find here it will get the data from this server it will fetch it from this cache and then it will provide it to the cdn the request has still not gone to actual stitching server which is there because what happens is for example the match is going on and suddenly virat kohli walks in the traffic spikes to 2x this CDN starts scaling up and starts making more calls. Now, if it suddenly starts making more calls to this stitching server, the stitching server will get down. And we don't want that. We need to be able to scale this easily and we need less load on this. So to protect this server, we have to introduce these many layers so that the call does not directly go to the stitching server. So what will happen is that the CDN will make a call to the web server, it will fetch from the cache and it will give to the CDN. Now whatever data is not present at this layer also and then the actual call to the stitching server goes which provides it with the required virtual stream. Yeah so this was a brief overview of how ad insertion works in live streaming. I might have left some points if you have some questions you can ask them and also this video was made because someone asked in the comments to make this video if you have any more requests you can comment down and see you in the next